Hey guys, in this video, I want to introduce you to a new vibrant version of SDXL. We're going to be taking a look at some really interesting images that we can conjure up with this new version of SDXL, which is probably the most color accurate. Now, I want to take you back, first of all, to when SDXL 1.0 was launched last summer. And with that launch, you might remember that uh, Stability AI said of SDXL 1, SDXL 1.0 is particularly well tuned for vibrant and color and accurate colors with better contrast, lighting and shadows than its predecessor. Now, they gave us a few examples here showing us the kind of HDR high dynamic range and the amazing colors and accuracy. But now we have this new model, which is supposed to be even more color accurate. And I want to take a look at it and give you some insights into how good it is and the things that I've found about it so far. And we'll be taking a look at some of the negative things as well. So it's not just going to be a joyous celebration. It's going to be some hard edged analysis. Now, the new model has produced some of the most amazing colors that I've seen of any version of stable diffusion. So we'll start off by this image here. What I did here was I created an image and I asked the new version of Stable Diffusion, which is called Cos Excel, a beautiful European woman with model looks with flaming red hair, wearing a black jacket, a white T-shirt standing in front of a blue wall. So we've got the red flaming hair. We've got the black jacket, the white T-shirt, and the blue wall. It's got everything correct in terms of the colors, but also notice just how vibrant the colors are. Look at how red the hair is and how blue the wall is. It's not just accurate, but the colors are more saturated. And what they also say is the blacks and the whites are even more pronounced than with other versions of Stable Diffusion. And yeah, I think we're looking here at the shirt. It does look very pure white and you can see very dark blacks inside of this image here. Let's take a look at another image here. This is one uh, where the prompt is high quality ethereal photo, floodlit studio, high key lighting. Now, high key lighting means everything is kind of white and blown out. If you think about Harry Potter, there's a scene in the last version of Harry Potter, I think, where everything's all white and angelic. OK, let me move on. A beautiful angelic woman in saintly white robes standing in a white room with float, flo floor to ceiling windows, light beige furniture, profound bokeh. And this is what it gave us. It's given us a really, really bright, almost kind of like heavenly looking image. Now, I did throw in a couple of dark objects here, which is not what I prompted for, but the rest of it looks amazingly bright. Uh, like you're on a film set or something where, you know, the film designer has wanted to produce something that looks very bright and very, very kind of blown out. Now, I did some other images and maybe we can take a look at these ones as well. And with with this software, with Swarm UI, you've got a lot of features and functionality with this one here. Let's see if we can bring this up. So I'm still getting used to it. A beautiful French woman of 30 years old with model looks wearing an expensive red business suit, a pink blouse in an office setting, blurred background, pre-dawn blue hour. And with this one, the, the woman looks about 60, but that's OK. She's not got the pink blouse, but uh, the, the, the kind of red jacket and the blue, uh, the blue hour feel. Blue hour basically means just before just before dawn or just after sunset. Yeah, so it's got those colors just perfectly right. Let's see if we can take a look at a completely different one. This one here is the same woman. Still supposed to be 30, but aging very quickly. Wearing an expensive red business suit, a pink blouse in an office setting. Amazing sunset. Look at the sunset. Look at the colors. Everything is accurate and it's exactly as it should be. Now, with even the best versions of stable diffusion of SDXL that I've used, the colors tend to get confused. If you ask for something in the foreground, it puts it in the background. With this one, it seems to get the colors just right. Let's move down to this one here. We've got her wearing an expensive business suit, no color stated, a pink blouse. I think to some extent it's extended the kind of soft pink colors to, 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 to everything. Blurred background, amazing sunset. The sunset is looking fantastic. 
and I've asked specifically for muted colors so it's not giving us any really bright colors sunset is always going to be very 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 vibrant in color so that's expected but everything else is nice and subtle in terms of the the color now the next image here is really interesting because I wanted not just to test the color but also the highlights and shadows so high quality photograph muted color portrait style Chia Roscuro lighting so some of you guys who speak Italian will understand that one a beautiful French male child of 10 years with model looks wearing an expensive charcoal gray pinstripe suit three-piece navy tie in front of an ebony wood panel so here we have got the muted colors okay I'm gonna go with it more or less gave me muted colors this is the color of ebony that's the color of, of, of navy everything else is kind of toned down I think the suit could have been a little bit more gray in color but we've got very dark areas here and very bright areas and that's what uh, Chia Roscuro lighting uh, refers to but the whites here do look extremely bright and the, the the dark areas do look very very black as well and that's what we're supposed to be getting with this new new model with this one this is Vincent we've got dramatic Chiro Roscuro color portrait style a brooding intense Vincent van Gogh his features partially obscured by dramatic shadows intensely stares intensely outward with eyes burning with an inner fire so it's given us the Dali I, I didn't ask for Vincent van Gogh style but it's given us Vincent van Gogh style that is that really is something that happens quite a lot with st stable diffusion it, it kind of takes a name and then just runs with it it happens with SDXL it happens also sometimes with Cascade maybe a little bit more with SDXL and yeah yeah this is looking good I mean the the portrait itself looks like a fantastic Vincent van Gogh portrait and all of the Vincent van Gogh ones they, they were like Vincent van Gogh paintings I mean they do look realistic it looks fantastic but uh, the colors are deep the chiaroscuro now these ones were amazing vibrant colors yellow and white panels HDR photo beautiful alien base domed accommodation saturated color panels vibrant shiny red metal top blue sky neat path so this one it's got everything except the red top you're supposed to have a red top but everything else is there the really intense colors of this alien planet where we've got these alien bases this one looks amazing as well they all have the same exactly the same prompt you can see the really vibrant colors you can see the way the reflections work everything just comes together you've got really bright areas very dark areas in other parts of the image it just works I mean it really just produced amazing colors and this one here really really blew my mind we've got high quality cinematic still still orange teal color style low-key lighting a beautiful astronaut in highly fluorescent space costume glowing lights torch bearing helmet stares at something mysterious in in a dark alien environment you can see this it looks like a still from a movie you've got the orange you've got the teal really warm colors here and you've got the much cooler colors happening on the other side that's the way it's supposed to be and you've got really really vibrant colors fairly bright in some areas and pretty dark in other areas just like you would see in a movie where they were trying to create an atmosphere and again exactly the same prompt you can see here the really really vibrant colors the 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 oranges there you can see the kind of dark cooler colors happening in the background and everything really bright and vibrant in the in the helmet so that's the that's the results that I got and I was very impressed let's take a look at the negative point the one negative thing that I found with this one the license so this is so far a research preview so if you go to hugging face you'll find that they do allow you to download this if you get permission so you've got to get permission and it's so far only really for research they do say it's recommended to use stable swarm UI to inference the COS Excel model and there's another version which is for editing so you can tell it take a picture give it to the model and then say make changes to the picture 
Now both of them can be also used in Comfy UI. This is a really exciting development and it's really great to see a Stability AI continuing to work with SDXL even more than six months after the launch of the, of the original SDXL. Bye.